Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In 1866, John and Mary Louisa McMarron sold their estate, Melrose, to George Mallon Davis and his wife Elizabeth. Since the Davises already owned the stately townhouse known as Choctaw, it is believed the couple purchased the suburban estate as a future home for their daughter Julia. After her marriage to Dr. Stephen Kelly, Julia and her husband divided their time between Melrose and New York City, Dr. Kelly's hometown. The Kellys would have one son, George Mallon Davis Kelly, named for his grandfather. Sadly, Julia Davis Kelly died in 1883 from tuberculosis, and Dr. Kelly chose to raise his son in New York City. Young George Kelly remembered coming to Natchez only twice as a young boy to hunt on the vast acreage his grandfather had left him across the river. From 1883 until 1909, the great estate was maintained by Alice Sims and Jane Johnson, two women who had been slaves of Elizabeth Davis, young George's grandmother. Alice and her family lived in the rooms above the kitchen and the dairy, while Jane and her family occupied the two former slave cabins. For over 25 years, the two women kept the estate in perfect repair. In 1909, George Mallon Davis Kelly and his wife Ethel returned to Natchez and took up residence at Melrose. Ethel Kelly would later observe that the preservation of Melrose was due in large part to the efforts of these two women. Alice and Jane worked for almost the remainder of their lives as free women for members of the family which had once owned them. Jane Johnson died in the 1940s at the age of 105. She is buried in the Natchez Cemetery on the marker that bears the epitaph, Never Bought, Never Sold. I'm Larry Stewart, Facility Manager at Natchez National Historical Park, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.